Hello everyone, let's watch this mind-blowing sermon by Apostle Michael Orokbo and then we dig in. God is not out trying to raise a people who gather together and their greatest ambition is to have a name for themselves and carry out a particular lifestyle that is not of God. God wants to give birth to children. God wants offsprings that reveal. God wants his righteous character to become our way of life. So when you see a people gather together, their lifestyle reveals the character of God. So just in case you don't have a book to read about God, when you see God's people, what they do reveal to you who God is. And so if you meet such people and they cannot do wickedness, you know that their God is not wicked. If you meet such people and they are not corrupt, you know that their God is not corrupt. When you meet such people and they are not malicious, you know that their God is not malicious. When you meet such people and they are kind, you know that their God is kind. So you become the epistle that men read about God. So his righteous character becomes your way of life. That's his desire. This is why I tell people most of the time, God is not out trying to start a religion. Religion is not God's initiative. God is not out trying to raise a people who gather together and their greatest ambition is to have a name for themselves and carry out a particular lifestyle that is not of God. God wants to give birth to children. God wants offsprings that reveal him. So that when you touch them, you don't touch a religion, you touch God. Paul said, be a followers of me as I am the follower of Christ. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1. John speaking, he said, as he is. He said, so are we, not in heaven, in this world. And so anything you see me doing, if God were to appear, that's what God would do. Because I have become a reflector of God. I have become a mirror image of God. That's God's desire. And if these things begin to happen, you will find God in the bank. You will find God in the market. God will no longer be a being that we encounter only when we come to church. Our society will become the reflection of God's character. And this is where spiritual civilizations are born. This is what every spirit is obsessed about. If you go into different nations, you can touch the texture of the spirit that controls those civilizations just by interacting with the people or seeing their way of life. There are territories you go to today, there is an agitation for different barbaric practices that are not consistent with God's will. So you know that the signature of those spirits are in those civilizations. It's our humanity that makes us think spirits are so interested in the things we're interested in. You know, houses, you know, aeroplanes, dressing well. All of those things are not the desires of spirits. Spirit wants their character to become your culture so that you live their way of life. It's actually colonization. Imagine I came from Africa, I'm speaking English. I have no business speaking English. I'm an Idoma man. I should be speaking a language that you'll be wondering what is he saying. But I was colonized. And so my language was substituted for the language of my colonial masters. And I, when I speak it, I feel good. That's the way I communicate. I studied chemistry and I studied it to PhD level on a language that is not my native language because I've been colonized. So I, can, I, can, I can't do anything without English language. It now defines who I am. That's how God wants us to live, that he defines who we are. So when you get to your job, it's impossible to do anything outside of God. When you start up a relationship, it's impossible to do anything outside of God. I can meet a young lady today, although I want to hug her and start kissing her, but God insists that it it must be done in marriage. So no matter what I feel, I have to tame my flesh until I get married. Because that's what God desires. So God's thinking and God's way of life becomes what defines who I am. When we are able to achieve that, then we say God's government has been made visible. That's the desire of God. Children of God, welcome back. This message blessed me greatly, so I thought to share with you. If this thing bless you, then what will? This message is by Apostle Michael Oropo, and I've got three points that I picked out for my personal growth. Where he said, you become the epistle that men read about God. That means men should see you and see God. That's why we are Christ-like as he is. So are we in this world, that we have been bought with a prize, we're full of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Now, my second point is, when you see God's people, what they do, do reveals to you who God is. Your character should reveal who God is at all times. I know most times we make mistakes, at times we get angry, and we don't exude the character of God, of Christ-likeness. But trust me, your character should exude God. You should smell God like perfume. Have you heard that, that word before? <laughs> Glory to God.
And he said, my point three, God is not out trying to, to build or to start up religion. Religion is not God's initiative. That's why I tell people, if you have been blinded by religion, you have been blinded by man-made doctrines, doctrines that do not exude God, that do not talk about God, does not have anything to do with those scriptures, you should do away with them because religion is not God's initiative. Glory to God. If this message blessed you greatly, do it to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, be Christ-like. Let me see you and see the Father in you. Glory to God.